Good morning and welcome to the morning show with Angel and Tina. Super excited to have you with us. Tina, how are you doing today? I'm doing fabulous, but I'm so good. Oh my gosh. It's like 30 degrees here in North Carolina. I went to take my dogs outside this morning. I was like, oh, you can see my breath. That's Colorado weather. Yeah, yeah it was, right? it was cool. very brick, as we would say in New York. It was, it was, it was cold. Cold, 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 but it's nice and sunshiny where you're at. It is, it is. We went outside this morning. It is, it is, you know, if, you, if you're going to move to Florida, everybody was like telling me the weather, like from Denver to Florida here, it's hot and humid. And they're like, tell me how miserable it's going to be. Well, of course, this time of year, it's really kind of. Yeah, like, wait until perfect. July or August and then let us know how wonderful it is there in Florida. Oh, well, it is fabulous. It's always fabulous in Florida. <sighs> All that hot humidity weather. We have an amazing person in our studio uh, today, Edeline. She's a girlfriend yes. of mine from Atlanta. The weather here is absolutely fabulous. I moved to Atlanta because I love the weather here. Well, it's, it's cold there though right now. It's not really cold. I'm from New York. Oh, it's yes, cold right. in New York. <laughs> true, true, true. <laughs> So yesterday I get a bunch of, you know how we always get gifts in the mail, Angel? So I got, I get, I got two gifts. I got these books from Suzanne Tulian, one of our guests um, the other day. And she had a cute little packaging and she has a little note. It even has her little, her face on it. I mean, very, very cute packaging. I mean, I love it. So her little two autographed copies of my books. And then and then I get this package and I'm looking at it and I'm going, oh, it's so cute, but who is it from? No note, nothing, but they know what I like. So I got this little thing. Oh, it's, it's a Tina's coffee. Cute. I, knew, I knew somebody in Colorado that would take those Starbucks reusable coffee cups and then personalize them with, with it's like a, oh, like a it decal. Is. It's just like a thing that you put over around it. Yeah. Um, yeah, we used to, she, yeah, she was very, she was very popular with the, with the ladies. Um, yeah, so it says Tina's coffee, but I don't know who to think. So if you said, oh, you <laughs> it's not, so if you said this to me, please let me know so I can thank you, but I love it. Oh, you don't know who it's from. I don't know who it's from. Like there was no note, no from like nothing. There was not even not one receipt. It was just bubble wrapped. And a then, secret admirer. It's from a secret admirer. <laughs> and I, I just, I don't know who, who it's from. And I'm like, and I look at the address and the address says something, um, you know, shipment, uh, the shipment department for what, whoever made this. So I'm like, so if you were out there and you sent me a Starbucks coat, can you please tell me that it's you so I can say thank you? <laughs> but it was very nice. <laughs> it's um it's a it's you I don't know it might it's either a secret admirer or somebody who just didn't realize that it wouldn't say like what did it say in the package like doesn't it have an address on like who, where it came from yeah it said something no something like shipment department like somebody's but, shipment department like out from Amazon oh a shipping department yeah mm -hmm. and it That's was strange and just enjoy it and when you I'm figure right, out who sent it to you, you you'll Starbucks. say you'll say thank you then. Yeah, you know I love Starbucks. But what I what my roommate told me, she's like, maybe it is one of your people that you're talking to on the dating app. And I was like, no, no. Oh, that's knows my true. Address. Nobody knows my address. I was gonna address. say, are you giving no. out your address? <laughs> Heck no. Heck no. Huh. Heck no. Heck no. And I got a, remember I got a new mm -hmm. phone, so I didn't even upload my, that, that app on my new phone. I think I'm over it. I think I'm just, just enjoy it. Already, Tina. Like, how long did you last? Like four a, days? A week, not even a week. Like I just, I'm over it. Yeah. I don't, I just, I don't, I'm just going to let God, if he has somebody for me, then he's going to bring somebody into my life. If Definitely. Not, Tina is going to stay single for the rest of her life. Oh, she's so not. She is so not. You obviously have some things you're still working through. Yeah. Right. right? That you've got to get Tina, over. You need to work on your business. With. As my business coach, you're like, Tina, you need to work on your business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. I don't need her getting distracted yeah. by a boy. She's not like, getting she's distracted on by her little boys. <laughs> but today is our Connect Summit all day today from 1 to 7 today Eastern time. We have some amazing guests today. We have Don Bates. We have Angel Tussie in the house. And my new favorite guy, Andrew Kaplan, and he is amazing, amazing, amazing guy. Um, who else do we have? Don Moore. We have Wendy Labatt. Dang, I, I lost. Yeah, we have a. I, I lost it. Yeah, we've got Christy McKay. Christy, Christy McKay, McKay is our sponsor. Our sponsor this month for the Connect Summit. Um, yeah, it's, I, I, I get blown away every single month um, when we do these. And I feel like it just gets better and better and better and better. So if you guys have not registered yet, make sure you guys register. Um, we'll put the Eventbrite link below. But today we are also celebrating Adeline is having a big event on Thursday. And it is a virtual event. And I got a little cute mug from her. This one I know. That's from her. <laughs> yeah. How about your event? I know it's from. Ooh. Own oh, your do tell. Own your future. So I've known Adeline. 10 years somewhere around that somewhere around that yeah so it's like nine nine ten years she was like one of the first people I met when I moved to Atlanta and I was one of her speakers and sponsors for a couple of years on the we rock we we rock nation we rock yeah <laughs> I don't think it's nation I think that's the group <laughs> that's the group <laughs> but that's okay that's okay but it was a three-day event and it was just packed, jam packed, full of amazing people. Um, so tell us a little bit about, about, I can't yeah. see it. I think I'm having trouble with my W's and my R's. And you've been, what's in your cup? What's in there? <laughs> I was just about to ask her. <laughs> I, told, I said, huh. this is going to be a long day. It's going to be a seven, a seven cup coffee day today. Yeah, yeah. Like in there, a little I bit. think you, I think you've spiked it with a little something, something. Because she's like, I can't get out a sentence. I can't, <laughs> I can't think of words. Darling, it is eleven o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna need you on your A game. I know. We we're going go. We're going hard until seven o'clock today. So you better get on your A game, girl. Get on your A game. Stop thinking about boys. <laughs> like a need teenager, some, right? Like a teenager. You need Tina, some get off your phone. Stop texting those boys. <laughs> although, although, and I do, I do totally want to hear about your event. Um, but last night, we're on a call, a group call, and you know how you can see everybody's faces. Tina and another girl, like everybody else, paying attention. Tina's doing that. She's like laughing, like her whole body is like laughing and she's, and there's another girl and they're laughing. You just know they're passing notes. They're doing like a private chat inside of the Zoom. They totally, totally had to call them out. I felt like the school teacher saying, okay, can you share with the class everything that you guys are doing? Yeah, they were being naughty. So yeah, she's booking, already on a roll. Like while you were talking, I'm sitting there booking for the show and booking a couple clients on podcast and whatever. And she pops up the little thing. I'm going, and I I lose it. I just lose it. I have to get on video and <laughs> she's, oh she did. God, she had to turn off her camera. And like, you're gonna get me in trouble. <laughs> you were you were being. She wasn't getting you in trouble. You were being naughty. It was her. She was talking to me and telling me all types of good, juicy goodness. And she just gets me in trouble. And I can't, I don't have a poker face. No, no, she's totally At in trouble. All. all right. So Adeline, tell us a little, like, tell us all the fun stuff you've got, got going on. Cause Tina, I know Tina's super excited about it, but she just can't seem to formulate the words. <laughs> I am one of the speakers on there though. Oh, she listen, is. she's like, I am. L look at you, how far you have come. <gasps> she's like, you know, she used to be all like, ah, I get to be in the, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm one of the, you know, I'm one of the big shots. Yeah, I'll drink my coffee. Bring me some green M&Ms in the green room, would you? Right, get, like, she's, <laughs> you've totally, <laughs> yeah, watch out for her. I remember back in the day when I was talking on the stage with Jack Campbell and Les Brown and all these big people. I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> I'm on the stage. <laughs> I'm on the stage with Jack Campbell. And now I'm like, 
I am one of the speakers. I am. I'm, I'm one of the speakers. Yeah, I share this. She drops names like Les Brown I don't, and Kim I don't, Canfield. I don't read yeah, them. Yeah. I don't we were in the green room. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's actually a very good speaker, by the way. For those of you that don't know, she, you know, she, she is actually a very good speaker. Who and is? um, I actually, we, we met at an event that you were speaking at and I th <laughs> think you were talking about follow-up, teaching people how to follow up. And um, you blew me away because the strategies that you mentioned during the presentation was strategies that once I started implementing I actually turned my prospects into clients. So, um, I mean, she's she's laughing and giggling now, but she really is a good a good speaker. And and of course, obviously, if she wasn't a good speaker, I wouldn't have her on my platform. You know, in, after ten years. But um, I'm looking forward to your presentation. Um, Tina's going to talk about gratitude and how to have gratitude um, in the midst of a pandemic. And a lot of people don't realize how important it is to be grateful despite what's going on in the world. And so um, I'm actually looking forward to hearing your presentation. I love it. And I, that's like one of my favorite things to talk about too is because, you know, those of you guys who know my story, it, it helped me get out of that dark place that I was in two years ago. You know, it like literally changed my life. And, you know, Adeline knew me before and after and, um, you know, when you have your life going so good and everything falls out from the bottom of you and you lose everything, you feel like you have nothing left. You know, your Bible and gratitude and a few good friends are sometimes the only things that you have left. And I just, I dug right into it. And so that's what I'm going to be talking about this week on Thursday, um, Thursday evening. Um, I'm going to be talking about the power of gratitude and how important it is especially during this time of year during november it's a month of gratitude right so you know you want to be grateful and we're actually in the middle of the 30 days of gratitude challenge right now so it's, it's just like perfect timing yes it is perfect timing so let me tell you guys a little bit about the event um we are celebrating 10 years women entrepreneurship day is actually november 19th i chose that day intentionally um because we are because we, we we are women entrepreneurs and we we should celebrate it's not easy being a woman entrepreneur and when i created this platform it was intentional to support inspire and help promote women entrepreneurs that are just getting started in their business seasoned entrepreneurs my objective is to help them get to that next level whatever that next level is for that particular individual. So this year we've actually pivot. We usually have our events live here in Atlanta, but we're going virtual. And um, it's something new for me, but um, nevertheless, we're still gonna bring you the quality that you, you've accust you're accustomed to. And we have some amazing speakers. We have three keynote speakers. One is Laura Hodgkin and she's an amazing entrepreneur. I call her the guru of entrepreneur. And then we have the Cheryl Wood. Cheryl Wood is an international speaker and she is, she's just, I mean, she's amazing. And she's gonna teach you how to vocalize, uh, monetize your voice. And then we have Lethia Owens and she's gonna teach you how to create a game changers mindset despite what we're going through in order to thrive in this situation, we have to change our mindset. So these three combine our powerhouse, powerhouse women entrepreneurs, and I'm excited to have them. We also have some other speakers as well. We have Deborah Daniel, she's a CPA here in Atlanta, and we have Rachel Davis. We've got men on the pan, um, on the on the lineup as well. Um, I got to give a shout out to the men that support women entrepreneurs because they, especially the men that have supported me and We Rock, they give selflessly and they're always willing to help and support us. And so I want to definitely give them a shout out for that. Um, we've got two days of amazing, amazing, amazing speakers. Um, we have um, Danella Burnett. She's going to teach you how to monetize events and also how to get speaking gigs in the midst of a pandemic. So you don't want to miss her presentation as, as well. And she's actually the event producer this year. And she, it, 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 I, this is my first time actually having an event producer. 
and um, it's been great. So if you're uh, if you're an event host trying to do everything yourself, stop that right now. Find yourself an event producer and relax and sit back and then actually enjoy your vision. I know your your three days that when we used to have the We Rock, it was crazy because being a speaker, you always get to be in the back, the back of the green room. You know, you get be in the in the back, uh, back of the scenes. You know, behind the scenes type of thing. And I just remember, every, you know, we we barely seen you because you were always taking care of things, putting fires out, and doing all this. So I'm glad that you got an event, an event planner. And Danella has been on our show actually a couple months ago. She came on came on our show mm -hmm. and, and I have to interrupt she's not an event planner like she's not just an event planner she's an event producer, producer. and 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 she's amazing <laughs> she is. I love her to death I love her to death I was I was working with her a couple years ago and she's she knows what she's talking about and she can decorate a room like I have no you have no I mean like take a room and change it into magic yeah she is amazing and so now you're doing it on, you're doing it online? It's not We're doing in person. Online. Not in so person. What are, some of the, what are some of the changes? What are some of the things that you've had to do to shift differently? Because it's, well, I mean, you know, you're sending gifts in, in advance. Like that's one, one thing. So tell us some of the things you've done to, to, you know, make that, make that pivot. Well, one of the things that I've always tried to get, I always try to do for all my events is to give my attendees a great experience. And I didn't know, and I, and I have the best swag bags. I have the best swag bags. In fact, I, I had like, one of my memories on Facebook. Um, I, I think it was a couple of days ago. It was when we were stuffing swag bags a couple of years ago. And it was when you had the clear, ba the clear bags. And I mean, you had makeup and umbrellas and like there were, it, the bags were, it was like, these were like this big and the bags were stuffed with things and not just like little sample things that people give out I mean they were like umbrellas and mugs and cups and it was crazy I was like oh look at this I'm gonna put that in my bag <laughs> I actually start I start I start collecting the stuff for the swag bag in January like yeah. right after the holidays I start looking for stuff to and put in the swag on, bag oh I forgot about this bag of stuff I have and she bring it back for like what the heck <laughs> yeah so this year, I mean, because it's virtual, I couldn't, we couldn't have swag bags. Actually, I have stuff in my garage that was ready to go for swag bags, but of course couldn't use it. And so I wanted, again, I wanted to create something, um, something memorable. And because of the, the theme this year is own your future, I said, well, I need to put something, I need to put the logo on something. And I figured, okay, why not a mug? Because we, most of us, we do drink coffee and um, or you know whatever you would like to put in your cup, you can. And oh, so yeah. I, you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah. So I created the We Rock the We Rock box, and it's a box. It comes with a really nice mug like this, like the one Sheena showed you, and it had it had um, two brownies. Some people got a a, a water bottle in their cup, hey, but I, I tried to. I didn't get brownies. You didn't get brownies? No, I just got my mug. Oh. We have to figure that, figure why you didn't get brownies. And I wonder, but. I wonder what service she uses, Angel. Do you, do you know what service <laughs> she, you, she might be using? <laughs> I mean, banner season. Yes. And I mean, we love banner season. We, I, I mean, I have to tell you, I have to tell you banner season is absolutely yeah. great. And the thing about it is, I mean, I've used other competitors before, but being able to actually, you know, put your brand on an item it's really nice and okay. so I created that one campaign and when you sign up and you register you get your email and instructions on how to get your VIP gift and and it's all automated like it's all I, automated I love it I love it Angel and I use it as well for the Angel and Tina morning show that's how we have our Angel and Tina morning show mugs and water bottles we also use it for the connect summit Oh, I'm going to have to change mugs for the Connect Summit today. We have Connect Summit water bottles and all that kind of, all those goodies too. So uh -huh. it's, it's just a great, it's a great service. And what an over, over the top experience that you are getting, you're giving to your, your attendees. 
one of the things that we're doing is a virtual lunch. So for all our, our, our VIPs will receive a gift card via email where they can actually order their lunch. And the, the gift card is valued at $100. Yes. Wait, that they can order their lunch for $100? What are they getting? Well, no, the gift card is valued at $100. But if they want to order for $20, they can order for $20. They don't have to spend the whole $100. Okay. It and was my way. Get they your get lunch for a and week. you're good to go. Pretty much. You know, yeah. you pay the, the, the VIP ticket is $97 and you the, the value of the VIP ticket is actually $125. It has to be more than that if you're giving them a hundred dollar lunch. I mean, even just a hundred dollar gift card, it's like no, well the gift card is hard it, costs it, in there. Well, I it's one hundred twenty-five dollars. Because <laughs> <laughs> they get extra stuff. I, it's, right? No, I'm thinking it's even more. I mean, if you're, I mean, if you're thinking like, yeah, just my hard costs alone, right, yeah. are you know X dollars, right? Then there's the value of the camaraderie and being a VIP. And oh, that's true. And, and you know, I mean, the VIP the ticket right? yeah. and then the you know behind the scenes yeah. and all that other stuff. Yeah, I know, I know. But you know, just to kind of keep it simple, so people. Just yeah. real simple. The, I mean, mon the, the monetary <laughs> value is 125, but the the value of it is so much yeah. more. The you experience is much more. VIP and all these events. The experience. The experience yeah, is I much more. That. I love that you are taking, like you're creating these sensory experiences by sending them things in the mail, right? giving them a chance to actually have that VIP lunch. I know that there have been um, some other event hosts who, you know, do the Uber Eats and send and send the lunch right to their VIPs and and have that experience. And it's it, there's a way it can be done, and you are doing it. And I think you're setting an example. You're setting a way. You know, so many people are like, "Well, I can't do it. I can't do this." I mean, even you. You're like, "I've got all this stuff in the garage. I can't use it." But what can we do? And there are mm -hmm. still a lot of options out there. And this is why you rock, right? This is, <laughs> this is why you walk, you totally walk, walk the walk of what it is that, that you're bringing together. And then to have a two day, a two day online event, that's no small feat, right? Uh -uh. Even though you don't have to have a room, like you still have to keep them like extra engaged, right? Because they're, they're sitting in a room by themselves versus sitting in a, you know, in a ballroom full of, full of their colleagues and mm -hmm. peers. And, um, and so um, how have you, I mean, is, are the days just as long or like, how are you scheduling your, your event? I'm like, I'm did like it, I did it a little here. different. I, I did it a little different because I figured everybody's just about zoomed out at this point in their life. And so I have a morning session on the 19th and then I have a, a we call it the We Rock Marketplace, where it's exhibitor sessions in the, um, from 3.30 to 5.30. And then we come back in the evening for an evening session from 6.30 to 9.30. So we're kind of breaking it out so that people can actually take breaks and come back. And then on um, Friday, it's just the evening session. There's nothing in the morning because Thursday's going to be a long day. And what I didn't want to do is to have them come back to another long day and they're going to get some valuable information. So I really wanted them to have some time to process the information that they're, that they're going to receive on the, on the 19th and on the 20th. Okay. So I decided to kind of break it out like that. And then also to give give women entrepreneurs an opportunity to attend and celebrate with us because we do have some dualpreneurs that are, are working. They work on nine to five and they can't make the morning session, but they can make the evening session and vice versa. So I just wanted to, to, to make it flexible for everyone and it's going to be recorded. So if you miss a session, you can definitely uh, um, get the recording and listen to the, the sessions that you've missed. And Re Rock Nation, you have a group on Facebook, Re Rock Nation, and it has it has a couple a couple people in there. What what's your what's your total right now? I think we're at about five thousand five thousand right now. And um, the ladies in there, I mean, I try to try to be the example um, for the group as far as supporting everyone 
and encouraging everyone because sometimes what we need is not just finances. Sometimes we need that hug. Sometimes we need that encouragement and the support. And I definitely encourage collaboration. Um, a lot of times people tend to think their, co their competition, their, their, their competitors is their competition, but the truth be told, that's not the case. Like one of my sponsors is Deborah Daniel, and she's been a sponsor of We Rock, I think for the past three or four years now. And, and we both do the both same thing. PAs, yeah. We both do the same thing. And so a lot of times people will say to me, well, you know, you, you have her speaking it's like yeah she's speaking I mean because although we're in the same industry we really do two different things okay. and Your target market are two different things you can't I mean you alone cannot take care of everybody in Atlanta no I can't and, and, and I don't want to <laughs> right you know I have somebody else let me give you her information you know and vice versa but you changed your, the way you're doing business nowadays too. What, what are you changing about the way you do business? Okay, for those of you that, are, that don't know, I'm an accountant. I own a, an oh, wait, accounting. Wait, wait, let, let, let's, let we, we, can, we can announce you. Um, yeah, do you want me to read your bio? Yeah, let me, let me announce <laughs> you, introduce you officially um, <laughs> to our audience. And then, and then you can do the whole, the okay. whole what, what is absolutely new. Uh, to say that Edlin, Okay, tell me, is it Edeline? It's Edeline. It's Edeline. Edeline. To say that Edeline Francois Dryden was born an entrepreneur is not a stretch of the imagination. Largely, largely raised by her grandmother, she learned from she learned from her the value of hard work, going after what you want, not settling, and not giving up at a very young age. Her main business is Dryden Tax and Accounting Services. But she's probably better known in the Atlanta, Georgia business community as the founder of the annual convention, Women Entrepreneurs Rock, or WE, We Rock, which she launched out of her passion for championing women-owned businesses. She's also the host of an internet-based internet show for women entrepreneurs that launched in January 2015. She plans to publish her first book before the year is out. We love that. Even with everything she has going on, the staff at the Goodwill Resource Center can still count on her to continue donating a few hours each week to help people with business or job-related questions. Her, driving, her drive for launching and growing new ventures is only tempered by her passion for helping women embrace themselves and their own God-given talents and abilities to do the same. So please put your hands together and help me welcome our fabulous <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So I, uh, <laughs> I, um, I am an accountant and I own an accounting firm here in Atlanta, Georgia. And um, prior to the pandemic, my main focus was tax preparation and bookkeeping services. And once the pandemic hit, I kind of had to pivot a little bit because I had to focus on my clients and I had to find an, an, another way to serve them because I still was preparing taxes and doing bookkeeping services, but I had to find another way to, to serve them so that they can stay in business and keep their doors open. And so I've kind of moved into an advisory role, if you may call it that way. And what I've found is that like many business owners, you know, we spend a lot of time just doing and doing what we do. However, the planning, the strategizing in our business, we don't do that. Or we wait till the last minute, the tax strategy that is, we wait till the last minute to, to do that. And so one of the things that I've done since COVID is I've been intentional. We're talking about tax strategies. We're talking about you know the, the government funding that's available and how we can actually go, go after them. And we're also talking about planning for the future. You know, that's one of the reasons why I created, I, I came up with this theme for the conference, Own Your Future, because no one was ready for a pandemic. Even I wasn't ready for a pandemic. Usually when things happen and I usually pull out my business plan and then I realized there's nothing in my <laughs> business, no plan. business plan that said, okay. just in case of a pandemic that's going to shut the whole world down. Right. There's here. nothing in my <laughs> business plan that, 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 that indicated you know, what I needed to do in case of a pandemic. So I know if I didn't have it, cause I'm very, I'm one of the very few people that actually 
have a business plan and I redo my business plan every five years. And so I knew my clients didn't have it. And so now what we're doing, we're having conversations, conversations on infrastructure, conversations, tax planning, conversation on, you know, exit plan. What's your exit plan? A lot of times people think exit plan is when you die. No exit plan. You may wake up one day and you may decide, you know what, I don't want to do this anymore. It's okay. But then what, what's your plan for that? You just don't walk away from a business that you put so much hard work and tears into, and then just walk away from it. You have to figure out how to monetize it and then walk away from it. And so we're having a lot of conversations that we don't normally have. And so um, that's kind of how I pivot. Wow. <laughs> Right? Wow. And it's so smart, right? Like we all, like nobody, I mean, she's right. Like you hit the nail on the head. Nobody, nobody was prepared for this. I just took a little survey this morning um, from the Acuity calendar scheduling app. And it was asking questions about, you know, how did, how did, how did this Im impact you? And did it, um, you know, how did it shift? And what were some things that you had to shift and change? And I'm like, everything everything changed the way we were running our business how we were communicating with clients how we were delivering services right how we were marketing everything everything mm -hmm. changed and, and for me i'm oh, sorry no go ahead and for me i it, it was important that i focus on my clients because if their doors shut then that has a direct impact on my bottom line yes. so i had to make sure yes. that I did everything in my power to help them keep their doors open. And some of them, you know, grateful. We're grateful for the fact that they were able to apply for the SBA loans and disaster loans and they qualified for it. And that was another thing too. That's something that I've done in the past. I've helped um, clients apply for SBA loans up to $2.5 million. And so I realized that, okay, I've done this before. I can do it again. And so helping them, through the application process, helping them understand the application process is, is, is another thing that I, I had to spend time doing because again, no one was prepared for this. And as to um, the new clients that came as well, I, I, what I realized is that a lot of people kept putting certain things in the back burner, like tax preparation, you know, keeping, keeping good records and having accounting system. And now they were faced with a situation where, okay, I've got to get my stuff together. Otherwise I won't be able to apply and qualify for some of these loans. So now I'm helping my new clients get themselves together. So it, it, it was a shift, but it really was something that I was already doing, but I now was doing it past tax season <laughs> and it's so smart right I just to think about how can we help our clients stay in business it's that ripple effect that we do have we can make an impact and that rising tide lifts all ships like if I can help my clients stay in business then we all we all thrive and then they can help right mm -hmm. now in that ripple effect on down. So what a legacy and an impact that, that you were able also, to. And also Edeline like literally contacted each one of her clients and says, you know, let's talk about how you can stay open. You know, mm -hmm. here's some idea. Even when you have two or three people in the same room talking to you, well, what about this? Have you tried this? And what about this? And you're like, oh, I, mm -hmm. I didn't even think about doing it that way. You know, I didn't think mm -hmm. about I could do it that way, but you were able to keep these businesses opened. And, and, and not only that, I have a good relationship with my clients and we don't just meet during tax season. And so some of them, we've actually talked about their goals that they had, you know, within the next five years coming up. And so there was one particular client, like he literally, there was no business, you know, his business was based on people showing up at the door. And, but he, he, he had a vision where he wanted to build a condo on the property that he owned. And so my suggestion to him was, okay, let's get this loan so that you can start having the funds 
to start working on this project that you that you you know that you have and so literally that's what that's what we did he got the loan he acquired the property that was right next to the property that he already had and so now he's got the property to actually start working on the condos that he want to build but you i had to have these conversations with them so that they can actually come up with a game plan and not just sit there waiting for COVID to go away because even when COVID does go away it's not going to be the same way what we've known it to be is gone and and we have to kind of get used to our new normal and business is not going to be the same anymore mm -hmm. and so now he he has a plan even though it was a plan five years from now it's it's moved up a little bit and he's 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 acquired some of the property that he needs and now it's just a matter of when he's ready to move forward and start building those condos oh you're muted oh, sorry sorry i had yeah we've got activity um so what are some things that you like what are some of the com conversations that people are mostly coming to you for what are they asking you to help them with or things that they should you know kind of be putting in order or putting in place now so they can so they can thrive thrive in 2021 okay and it's not just 2021 i mean this is something that as business owners we should already be doing but i get it everybody's not at the same place yeah, and right? they're I, just like I yeah, barely thinking past Friday, right? Right. Like, like how do I? I, I don't have a long year. plan. Yeah. Right. And so, the most important thing is having an accounting system. You can't save on taxes. You can't have a tax strategy if you don't have an, a system in place. And as especially women, we wear many hats in our business. And we think that it's a cool thing. It really isn't because we really should hire the experts and do what we and do what we do best. But the first thing you'll hear is, "I can't afford an accountant. I can't afford an attorney." But what you need to do is you need to find somebody that can help you afford it. And so, a lot of people have been coming to me and in, in, in wanting to get their books in order because the PPP loan. You had to be on payroll. I mean, a lot of people were not even on payroll. And mm. I tell my clients all the time, like you have to pay yourself first and you have to get accustomed to paying yourself first. And I don't care if that's $50 a week, but if you, if, if you get accustomed to paying yourself $50 a week, then you're going to upgrade it and it's going to go to hundred dollars a week. Then it's going to go to $500 a week. And then before you know it, you're actually paying yourself in your business not at the end of the year, like, oh my gosh, I made all this money, where did it go? It's so same with savings, right? Even if you start like even putting money in savings, if you start with just a little bit, like something you won't miss an amount, it like just to get in that habit and get in that behavior, it can, it can grow from there. But it's these baby steps that if you can't do it with what you got now, right? There's nothing that says you're going to have those habits and those behaviors when it grows. Right, exactly. And that's just like financial statements. If you can't read a financial statements and your net income is at $100, how are you going to read it when it's at a million dollars? How are you going to understand it when it's at a million dollars? Or even, and, you know, if you're only making $100, how are you going to budget your million dollars if you can't learn to budget your $100? <laughs> I heard I heard a phrase last week. I was on uh, was on the summit assets are sexy and you can't have a million dollar business with a $5 mindset right? Or a hundred dollar mindset, right? If you can't, if you're not knowing your numbers, you're not reading your financial statements. If you're not getting to figure this out at this phase, yeah, it's not going to get easier when you add zeros. You think no, it will, it's not. But and the thing about it, it can happen overnight. I've seen it happen to so many different businesses and because they weren't prepared as fast as you grow is as, as fast as you can deflate as well. Yeah. And so it's really important that you know your numbers and you understand your numbers. And basically I tell everybody, you build a relationship with your numbers and respect them, especially when you have a budget, you have to learn to respect your budget. Otherwise, what's the purpose of having it? Yeah, definitely. Well, we got to take a quick commercial break. We are with Edeline Dryden, one of my good friends from Atlanta, Georgia. She is the founder of Re. I, I think I'm having trouble with my W's and my R's. I'm we really rock. Not drunk. <laughs> 
We rock nation. We walk. We, we walk. We walk. We, we walk. It's like the we uh, the. What are those little Star Wars guys called? Ewoks. Ewoks. There you go. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll this save is you. Only coffee. <laughs> I will save you. Can you see that? Can you see my image? Yes, we can. Yes, you can. Well, we are um, want to highlight our sponsors of the Angel and Tina Morning Show. First of all, we want to say thank you so much to our fabulous guest this morning coming on and being that bright start to your day, having this unscripted conversation with us and giving you some great tips on how to just how to be smarter about what it is that you're doing with your finances. But we're so grateful to our sponsors of the Angel and Tina Morning Show, the Zondra TV Network. We are globally and digitally syndicated across multiple streaming platforms. All those on-demand channels that you love getting your favorite programs on, check out the Zondra TV Network. She's got incredible lineup of programs that have been coming out all throughout the last season including the Angel and Tina Morning Show. And if you have content, podcasts, YouTube channel, anything you've ever thought about hosting your own TV show, give her a call and see if having your own show on the Zondra TV network makes sense. Go to beonztv.com. It's B-E-O-N-Z-T-V.com and schedule your affordable global marketing experience today. Bliss by the Lake Boutique is our clothing sponsor. They get new inventory in every single week. Check them out online. Follow them at Bliss by the Lake Boutique. And then if you're just feeling a little overwhelmed, not able to get it all done, I love how Adeline said, you know, hire out, hire those professionals and, you know, you do what you do best and hire out all the rest. With Sonic VA, you can hire your own virtual assistant or even a team of VAs. When you mention the Angel and Tina Morning Show, they're going to give you a 10% discount off your first 40 hours of VA service, go to sonicva.com. That's S-O-N-I-C-V-A.com. And if you're on the bandwagon for putting out videos, check out their new video editing service. It rocks. Not just we rocks, but it rocks too. So sonicva.com, Bliss by the Lake Boutique, and the Zondra TV Network. We're so grateful for our sponsors. Yeah, they and are Italy. They are up in my game on my youtube channel he just did another video for me yesterday and i'm like oh, i love it they add videos they add music they add the little third lower reels on there i mean it's it's amazing what his team can do for you i you know i've had I, and i need to get i need to get through this obviously but i was like doing videos doing videos and then you know, everybody's like, okay, Angel, we need to like do these more professionally and we need to like have a plan for them. And it just like, like, I'm like, I don't know what to talk about. I got nothing. Like I well, you know how you done a live, video live in Media since. Mastery. Just do that. Just go yeah, live. It's completely and different talk. when I know that, hey, I'm just talking. I'm just doing my thing. And it's just like you and me and in the moment. But no, we're going to take this and create. And I'm like, mm, yeah, I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> Well, I remember um, when we first went in the pandemic, you, were get, you would go live on Media Mastery and like, hey guys, today we're going to talk about this, this, and this. And then you would go way off over here. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like you didn't talk about anything. You didn't talk about so that. So to have it like, okay, and I have done it. Like I have started, I, I tell you the camera like a million times. I was supposed to do one for our press release subscription. Like I just need a little thing. I'm like, I started, stop, started, stop, start. I'm like, yeah, I can't do it. Okay, you seen you seen Michelle's Michelle's blooper reel yesterday, right? Did you watch it? I, I know, I know, I know. It's just something weird. Like I can do it until I know. Did you see her? Know. Okay, 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 okay. okay, okay. <laughs> I said she okay. has the angel. Okay, T Tourette syndrome. <laughs> when yeah, when they go like sometimes okay. in the morning or when, when we go on summit, there's so much going on. She's like. Okay. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I haven't done, I, I don't think I've even gone live like hardly ever. And since well, then, you, because you, you've had a lot going on, you, you know, I sold have. a house all in a month. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. I've just, you, been packed, little... you sold a house, you moved all in 30 days. You know, you really didn't have that did. much going on. <laughs> I did. I think it actually impacted me. I was, I was saying to Jay, I'm like, 
don't think my business grew in October. He's like, he's like, well, you were a little busy. (laughs) I mean, you have to give yourself grace. And I think us as women need to do that anyways. We have to give ourselves grace when we have to kind of Mm -hmm. take a step back and do some self-care or some self-reflection or take care of our family and move across the country, you know? (laughs) And and, I mean, but you got to see what you, what else you did. Look at all the clients we, we got this year and these amazing clients that were helping them get their books to number one bestseller and the show and the Connect Summit. And you got to turn it around. Think of the gratitude. <laughs> I know there was, there was some good stuff, but you're right. Yeah. You, I, you know, you kind of go, okay, well, I, I, you know, I put myself up here and feel like, you know, when you let one thing kind of fall down, you're like, oh man, I'm not doing everything. But because I, overcompensated over here with other stuff um you're right I will make videos your videos rock right and what Sonic VA is doing I mean uh, they don't rock videos. when I do it they rock after they edit all the stuff because I go cut <laughs> <laughs> I'm just recording them on zoom and I'm like oh that sucked okay try again hey guys this is tit oh cut <laughs> You just see him and he just makes it. You got to clap your hands. You got to clap your hands. So in the editing, they know, they see the spike and that's where they, they, that's where the cut is. Oh, oh, Mm -hmm. see, I just said cut. I said, let's, hold on. You can say it, but they've got to watch it. But like, then they, they can find it quicker. Oh, I'm going to have to do that for him. I need one of those. Yeah, I need need one of those. I'm going to get me one of those. So whoever's watching, whoever's sending me those little gifts. Send me a send me a director's whatever those things are called. Yeah, we actually got one from um, Universal Studios. We have a little clapper that, um, at my girl at my daughter's house, so we have one. Yeah, you need a clapper. Yeah, that's what. So, so, I mean, they do, you know. And I'm like, oh, I just messed that up. Oh, okay, let's try that again. Oh, da 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 da. And, I'll be, and then he makes it good, and I'm like, oh, that looks really good. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I know. I, it's just, it's just like, I don't, it, when I know it's going to be all, when it's just, when it, when it's just live and in the moment, it, uh, I think it allows for, you know, some, I don't, this, <laughs> what's happening right now, right? <laughs> but when it's pre-recorded and edited, and this is Michelle Cunningham even says this, like when you're live, it's one level of mm-hmm. production. But when it gets to YouTube, the level of production, it is expected that it is going to be higher. It's going to be edited. It's going to have intros and outros and, and yeah, all of it. The level of production expectation when you post a video on YouTube is higher than when you just I mean, go really, when I, when I hired them, my, I think my first video, I just uploaded it. There was no thumbnail. There was no intro and outro. There was nothing. And then I, then I got an intro, an intro video reel and an outro, and then they create, started creating thumbnails and then they kind of put it all together and start, you know, the lower thirds, the little things that pop up here and there. And I'm like, Oh, so now I, it it is, you really do level everything up. Yeah. You've, you've leveled up for sure. For sure. Tina. All right. Well, let's make sure we get, cause are you accepting, um, enrollment still for your event? Oh, most definitely. <laughs> okay, so let's get everybody all plugged in. Tell them how they can enroll and get involved. I uh, say so you can connect with the We Rock the, the ladies at we, in We Rock Nation by going to Women Entrepreneurs Rock parentheses We Rock on Facebook. And if you're interested in attending and joining us for the celebration, you can go to Eventbrite at We Rock Ten Year Anniversary dot Eventbrite dot com. Oh, I love it. And I'm going to be got all dialed in. I'm going to be speaking at and 6 you're gonna be speaking. On Thursday. Yep. Okay. And that's this week. Yep. This Thursday. And I didn't mention, I didn't mention before I go, we are having a, an award ceremony as well. The we walk awards and I'll be honoring four different ladies that day, that evening. You know, Adeline, you Ooh. didn't mention all of the different things that you have been able to do with re We, I'm having trouble with that word. Um, <laughs> with that, um, a few years ago, she was able to gift an entrepreneur. What was it like? It was like ten thousand dollars, right? It was like a. 18- well, it was to- it was to- two different scenarios. We did um, a Shark Tank like competition where 
the ladies had to come and before investors and share their business concept with the investors. And one young lady, she actually walked away with about $7,000 from the investors that were there. And then the following year, we supported another young lady in her vision. The original amount was supposed to be um, for $10,000, but we only ended up giving, um, I think it was 5,000 that year. But that's another um, passion of mine is supporting women entrepreneurs in their business yeah. as far as getting them the funding that they need. And so we'll, you'll see more of that in, in the years to come. And then, so you said that you had some things coming up. What kind of things do you have coming up? You said you're writing a, a book? I'm writing a book. I'm also launching a masterclass series. It's called On Your Future Masterclass Series. And I'm excited about that is pretty much a, a, a series of masterclasses where the women entrepreneurs can meet with professionals, individual in, in, industry experts and get the support and, and the services that they need at a fraction of the costs. And so I'm really excited about that. We have some pretty good speakers on the lineup for that. And so it's a six months program. And the, the whole objective is, as I mentioned, is getting everyone to own their future and the things that they were putting on the back burner that they're actually taking action and implementing those things so that they can build a business that can last. I love that. I love, I love it. it. I mean, I it's it. not just great. the Rock Nation, you know, like she does so many other things to help, to help entrepreneurs. And that's why, you know, this lady, she is simply amazing. I've loved her since day one. Uh, we've done business together. We've sponsored events together. We've spoken together on the same stages, but she's just an amazing lady and she has some amazing connections. So definitely reach out to her and join us um, on Thursday and Friday for the We Rock 2020 celebration love it, love it. <laughs> yes yes way to go way to go ladies so kudos to you for keeping Thank it you. together for for pulling this out and um and for for being here this week i know it's a busy week for you as you're putting together a big two-day event and to hang out with us this morning um take time out of your day we appreciate that that's the importance of having that. a team <laughs> yeah, yes yeah right because she's hired people so she can be here Anything else you want to make sure that we get out and cover this morning? Um, She's like, let me see. Let me think. Um, let I me just think. want to say thank you to Sharon Harewood. She is putting out the Eventbrite code underneath in the comments below. So thank, thank you, you, Sharon. So thank you, but Sharon. <laughs> no, I, I, if I if I have to leave, if I have to say one thing before I leave, is is definitely as entrepreneurs, whether you're a woman, whether you're a man. Um, collaboration will take you in places that you cannot take yourself. And so last year, actually, collaboration was my word for 2020. And I've done so many collaborations. I've been part of so many projects behind the scenes. And that's another thing that's been able to bring me more business for my, for, for more clients for my business. And so it's powerful. It's very powerful. Don't look at your competitor, your, 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 competitors as competitors look at them as collaborators and see what you guys can put together and and level up together yeah. and so that's one thing i'd like to leave because two everyone. heads are better than one you know together anybody can do anything um i you know angel and i started collaborating earlier this year and the things that she has helped me do and get through and you know you just hey i'm having a bad day or hey I, is this ever gonna <laughs> Type of thing. Mm -hmm. well, it's all, you know, there, there's so many people around you that the things you don't want to do, they are good at and they love doing. And mm -hmm. so there's no reason for us to be, you know, in the grind of doing something that doesn't bring us joy and doesn't light us up. And, and when we stay in our zone, right, that zone of genius, which is where you are this morning, because you've got a team behind the scenes doing all this extra stuff so you can be here sharing your zone of genius with us. I think when you stay there, you are more filled, fulfilled. Mm -hmm. I read a quote that says, we're not tired because we're doing too much. We're tired because we're doing too much of what doesn't light us up. Mm -hmm. When you are doing what lights you up, like you get out of bed in the morning, excited and energized and, 
and you know, just kind of, you've just fueled for the entire day because you know, like you're just, you're just totally in love with everything that's going on in your world. And I know Tina, Tina has come so far this year. It's just so funny to see her. She's like, yeah, I'm a speaker, right? She's totally <laughs> embraced her new, like her new, um, oh, what is that? Like, like her new, like her new thing, um, like her who new she life is step, and what she does lifestyle. and how she delivers. <laughs> But I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. I mean, I, I, I always knew she had it in her. Sometimes we have to get of get out of our own way. My mother said that to me a few weeks ago. If you can only just get out your own way. <laughs> mm-hmm. And and so I'm not surprised. Bless mama, right? For right. for saying that to you, right? For seeing that and, and even, you know, being brave. So who you who you listen to, who you surround yourself with and mm-hmm. right? And, and sometimes it takes, the, you know, leaving all this toxic, negative things and even family and kind of pushing them aside and saying, I, I got to do this by myself. I got to do this with a few people that I know that are going in the same direction as I am. I know you're, you're going that way and you have fun on your trip, but I'm going this way and I have to stay in my lane and I have to go mm-hmm. on my trip. That's so true. Mm-hmm. But congratulations to you, Tina. I'm proud of you. Oh, thank you. (laughs) You did good, girl. She did. I mean, I was actually sad to see you leave when you when you moved to go to. um, When I moved to Atlanta, my move from Atlanta, I had a going away party. We probably had 25, 30 people there at my going away party. (laughs) I'm sad to see you leave, but sometimes you have to do that. You have to you have to step outside the box. Yeah. And, and and sometimes that's that's a box that we create for ourselves. And just looked just look at you now, had you not stepped out the box and actually taken that leap of faith, yeah. you probably would still be in the same situation that you were in when you were here in Atlanta. Exactly. And so and that's is part of my story, you know, it's all part of that story that I'm gonna share on Thursday evening is going through all of that and leaving Atlanta was one of those things you know, all in a six month period of time, you know, losing all of that stuff all at one time, it helped, it turned my life and, you know, completely changed my life. So you never know something so minute. I thought it was going to be a good thing, which it was a good thing, but you had to go through the bad thing first, Mm -hmm. but um, something like that, you know, you had to do to get through it. And just like Angel says, you know, sometimes um, I have a book coming out beyond gratitude. Angel wrote my foreword to it. And right before I wrote the book or finished writing the book, somebody said that I was a glow stick that, you know, you have to be broken before you can shine. And I love that. And she put that in her forward that, you know, Tina had to be broken um, to the point, you know, where she thought she had nothing left and now I was able to get out there and shine the world. (laughs) And you are shining bright. You are shining bright. Ladies, it's, been a fun morning thanks so much for coming out thank you thanks for having me ladies absolutely i'm angel tessie i am your media exposure specialist if you've got great news let's alert the press let's create some more media exposure for you leveraging the power of other people's audiences to get out your business your book or your brand and you can start with a complimentary media starter kit at makeyourbigimpact.com that's makeyourbigimpact.com Dot com. Lots of great resources when you plug in there. Everything you need to get the ball rolling and create more, more media and publicity for you and your story. And then make sure you come and hang out with us all day today for the Connect Summit. We have a dozen speakers lined up to help you connect with your health, your wealth, your finances, your mindset. It's going to be a really rocking day. Door prizes are being given away all throughout the day. Every single speaker is giving away a lucky prize to one lucky winner. And then of course, everybody gets our swag bag full of gifts over $5,000 in value. And all you have to do is register. So go to Eventbrite and look for the Connect Summit number nine. I love it. I love it. I am Tina Torres, your client retention expert, otherwise known as the gratitude specialist. And if you are struggling with attracting the right clients, knowing how to connect to them, or even if you just don't know how to convert them into paying clients, I have a complimentary guide that'll help you grow your audience organically, offline and online, connect and nurture those relationships authentically, and then 
take those relationships and turn them into paying clients, you can grab your free guide if you text the word connection to 26786. That is the word connection to 26786. Join us today on the Connect Summit. We are going live from 1 to 7 p.m. Eastern. We are Angel and Tina on the Angel and Tina Morning Show, where we come to you live every weekday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern. We are so grateful to you, our audience, our guests today. Thank you so much for being our loyal fans. We hope we brought a bright start to your day. Have a fabulous day, guys. We'll see you later on the Connect Summit. Bye.